Hi guys. Uh, my name is Sohel Shekha, and uh, in my last uh, in last event, I didn't have any presentation. <laughs> I was just working on the code on my Visual Studio. So this time, I have presentation, but less on code. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Uh, from the time I have been working with Xamarin, and especially on Xamarin forms. I get a lot of people to ask questions that, can we do this in Xamarin Forms? Can we do this in Xamarin Form? My app requirement is some funky UI. Can we do that in Xamarin Forms? And a lot of other requirements. Uh, so recently, I had this kind of situation where I had to uh, build some complex charts in my app. And I was doing some research on how to do it in Xamarin Form. So in this presentation, I'm going to share with you guys that, uh, what I went through and what are the options available. Uh, so in case if still people, some of, the, some of the one who is still thinking what are charts, so here's an example of chart. Uh, you can read by. Uh, not funny, but yeah. So let's go quickly. Something in relation with data and graph. Uh, literally, we are living in a world where every second we are collecting some data. So why the charts are useful? Because there's a lot of data. Uh, just to think about it, uh, even when we, are, when we are present in this uh, event, we have collected so much of data. Uh, when we entered the uh, our building, we did registration. That was collection of data. Uh, when we signed up for this event on Meetup, that was collection of data. So many data, every time. Uh, but how do we make this data useful? Because if we look at the raw data, it's not going to be useful, right? So there need to be something presentable. That's why charts are used. Uh, so what is the relation of mobile apps and charts? Uh, charts and other complex UIs uh, where look to be implemented in desktop and web apps, uh, but now it's everywhere. Uh, with me, everybody would believe, I mean, everybody would uh, believe with me that uh, complex UIs are getting more and more used in uh, uh, mobile apps, and mobile apps are just getting uh, in every kind of application, like uh, wherever we have some kind of uh, 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 very complex UI, everything is going to be done in, uh, it's getting done in uh, uh, mobile. So we are here in context with Xamarin Forms, but let's see what kind of apps do have charts. First is, and obviously financial apps, they have the, uh, all kind of charts to give you reports of your finance and uh, stuff. BI tools uses Tremendous number of charts. Very good use. I mean, very good example is the fitness and the health apps, which are uh, which uses charts to give you uh, the uh, timeline of your uh, heartbeat and your weight and stuff like that. Or be it statics app, statics app, but. There can be different charts, and data can be represented in different charts, but there's a difference. Uh, just for example, if you talk about bar graph, uh, bar graph shows us trends, but I mean bar graph shows it uh, shows us uh, visually very nicely data, but uh, if we want to show the trends over the time, we have to use line chart. But uh, why I'm saying this here and why we are talking about this in this uh, presentation is because we need to know uh, what are the options available for Xamarin Forms uh, and what kind of charts we can do and how much customization we can do with Xamarin Forms. Because that's the uh, ultimate question I want to answer. Uh, when we are using Xamarin Forms, what are the options we have to do it? So these are the few 
options were like uh, was presented uh, was included in uh, Ben's slide also that these are the companies who are building uh, custom controls like charts and gauge and other uh, complex uh, data grids and stuff. So during my uh, okay, let's let's take first look at a uh, few scenarios which I was uh, referring to. So in my app, so this is a chart, and I had to do access and grid light customization. Uh, what does that mean? That uh, do you see these grid lines? So I had to, uh, the UI which was given to me um, had s some customization with grid lines. So the grid lines should be strip one, uh, and there should be a very specific strip, like seven to three strip. And then uh, the color need to be changed. A uh, lot of time, a uh, lot of customizations with that. Uh, but not not just with that. There was a customization with uh, access lines and uh, okay, even the access visibility. So if uh, I just want to show this axis, not this axis, or I want to show it in uh, right side of the chart. So, uh, what more? Yeah, there was one more requirement which said that every uh, next data point should have different color or there were colors defined. Uh, so I need that kind of uh, level of customization where I can uh, give separate color to different data points uh, in charts. And then these data points, do you see these data points uh, at each graph? So there was uh, customization needed for that also. So it need to be specific uh, shape, specific color, and specific border. Too much of detail and too much of customization, seriously. Uh, and then when, whenever you uh, press this data point, there should be a tool tip. And you should be able to customize that tool tip. So you need to be able to create your own UI in that tool tip. And you need to be able to change that view of that uh, tooltip. Then there's one more customization was uh, strip line. So chart will have strip line. And uh, here in picture, it's not visible. But in my requirement, it was like this, that uh, this color of spline will also change with uh, uh, strip. So, so if strip line is below this level, then it would be different color. If it goes up on this level, it would be different color. <laughs> and believe me, guys, it was really difficult to find a solution to all of this kind of customization. Uh, so I went through all of the, the ones which we saw be before. Uh, where is it? So all of these ones, I tried them. Uh, few are very good, great, uh, but didn't allow me that level of customization. Few document uh, for few of them, documents were not uh, were very poorly updated. So uh, I didn't either knew how to do it, or I have to chase their support to do this uh, to get the information. The one uh, one of the uh, component which I liked and I chose for my implementation was Syncfusion. Uh, it's my preference. You guys can explore. But most of my uh, questions were answered in Syncfusion. I got all kinds of customization. Uh, not all, but like 95% of customization with Syncfusion. So that was solution for my uh, So let's 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 have some demo. Uh, so we talked about uh, so we talked about customization, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys each of those customization how I did that. So let's begin with this. Uh, so whenever you want to integrate uh, Syncfusion, it goes very well uh, with XML. That is what the preferred one. 
so I have here let's say this XML and what I did is I created a chart okay that's it and it goes really well uh, just as we add the normal co components uh, like text box and uh, the one like uh, the Ben showed uh, you have to just uh, work in a similar fashion so I add a chart and then uh, I can do all kind of different customization like this is a tooltip behavior what I said that I need to uh, change the view of the tooltip so I did that and then uh, so everything I mean uh, data marker marker type it should be in eclipse height color border width a lot of customization uh, and all of this were possible in this uh, in sync fusion but I didn't find all of them in, in, in other uh, components I'm not saying they are not good but the level of customization which I wanted and my requirement was was not found but they can be great uh, in other scenarios or if your your customization is not that uh, level of so okay here in I don't have much code I'm just giving uh, data to be shown in the chart uh, but literally everything is done on XML and I could have done this also in XML but you can do it in code or in XML either ways uh, don't worry about this red lines uh, intelligence doesn't work proper but yeah uh, this chart so how does it look so let's let's execute this uh, I'm not gonna execute it here because it's gonna take maybe probably seven to eight minutes just to give you the output so I have already executed it and it's there in my simulator so I'm just gonna show you that and here it is so this is the basic chart which I was talking about said that the color should be different for each chart uh, for each data point uh, and it depends on data what color it needs to be uh, this was a strip uh, this is the chart where the customization was with a grid line uh, with data marker and the color of this uh, of spline uh, where it goes out of uh, this strip line if you are I don't know if you are still able to uh, if you are able to view this strip line there's a thin strip line uh, not very obvious <coughs> and then the color need to be changed accordingly uh, which was very very great uh, uh, customization and then like multiple strip lines and you should be able to toggle it uh, and then you, you can toggle the recommended value so all this stuff yeah so this is how it looks uh, and this is how it is uh, uh, it, it, it works very well it worked very well for me uh, so that is what I wanted to share with you guys uh, I don't have anything else yeah it's just a short presentation um, so just just like this uh, scenario so the so the question was uh, people used to ask me uh, was is this possible uh, with Xamarin form or is that possible with Xamarin form uh, yes it is possible but you have to know how to do it so this was just very specific to charts when it comes to use char using charts in Xamarin forms. Uh, so here is the one example uh, what I did. Um, but literally, there are like number of uh, controls available with all of those uh, third-party uh, component developers, and they work very well. Uh, so yes, Xamarin forms is the way to go. Uh, there's nothing like uh, developers can say that okay no uh, we cannot go with Xamarin forms because we cannot do this with Xamarin forms so <laughs> yes it is possible uh, if you want to know more details about 
specific controls or even with charts on specific requirement, uh, you can email me or talk to me later. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's it. Short. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah.